Hello, uh, Professor Mark again here to do lab three, classification of chemical reactions. In this lab again, it's a qualitative lab, so I'm going to show you some chemical reactions. Your job today, after you see the reactions, is to write out the full chemical uh, reaction to balance the equations and to uh, explain uh, what type of reaction it is, whether it's a combination, single replacement, double replacement, combustion, uh, dissociation, displacement. Um, that's up to uh, you to determine. So the professor will give you again introduction, what he or she wants in the lab report. I'm just here to show you the protocols and uh, some of the observations you'll see when you mix two things together. So I'll just go step by step. If you turn to page 32 in your lab manual, um, we're going to go through all 13 steps. Each one is a different reaction. The first one here is when we mix uh, sodium, sorry, hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate together. So here I have the sodium carbonate. I've already placed it in our test tube. And now I'm going to add some hydrochloric acid to it. So I'm supposed to add three mils. Uh, one mil is approximately 20 drops. That we gain. This is a qualitative lab, so it doesn't have to be exact. You can hear fizzing, or I can hear fizzing, which means the formation of bubbles, formation of a gas. The next step is I'm supposed to take a glowing splint and put it into our test tube to see what happens. So let me get the glowing splint going. Have a glowing splint, I put it into the test tube, and it goes out. So I put the, the splint into the test tube. Uh, I didn't touch the liquid with the splint, and you notice that the splint goes out. Okay. We'll move on to experiment two, where we're going to mix calcium chloride and sodium phosphate together. So let me just put this aside. sodium phosphate. Here we have the sodium phosphate. We're supposed to add about two mils in a test tube. So again, 20 drops is about two mils. Next, we're going to add some calcium chloride, CaCl2. Again, two mils. mix. My observation, I don't see any solid forming. I still see two liquids coming together. Um, no change. The next one, oh, I have here 
is we're going to have about 0.5 grams of copper hydroxide. So let me put the reaction here. We're going to have our copper 2 hydroxide. So this is our copper 2 hydroxide, a solid blue powder. I put it in to our test tube already. And we're going to heat up the test tube with the Bunsen burner and see what happens. So let me get a test tube holder. Have our test tube holder. And we're gonna put this over the flame. see right away the blue turns into a black okay we'll just move on our next uh, experiment uh, step number four, this is the copper sulfate. Zinc solid mixing with copper sulfate. Let's move this aside. So we have here our, our copper sulfate and we add some zinc solid. These are pieces of zinc metal. So I've already done the reaction. So you can see the zinc is a silver um, solid, shiny, malleable, uh, blue solution. And when you mix the two, uh, you get this brown, uh, the zinc has turned brown. Okay. So that indicates a, a reaction and there's also some bubbles here so some gases have come off as well we also have another reaction here where we have copper This should actually be copper. We have copper here mixed with the zinc sulfate. So in this case, we have copper wire. You can notice the color, solid. We mix it or we add some zinc sulfate to this. So I've done this already. I let it sit for about five minutes. It's been about five minutes. And I don't see any chemical reaction occurring. Sometimes students get bubbles coming off, which shows the reaction. In this case, we don't see any bubbles coming off. So if I were to make an observation, no reaction here. Step number six, we're going to do a test with magnesium ribbon and a Bunsen burner. Um, I'll do that for you in a later video in a few minutes. So we're going to go to step number seven. Step number seven involves hydrochloric acid with uh, sodium hydroxide, acid-base reaction. 
So I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide, 3 molar sodium hydroxide, about 3 mils. Going to add some acid, six molar HCl, Gonna use the stirring rod to stir a little. This is an exothermic reaction, it means I feel it, it's a little bit warm, it's heating up, it's releasing heat. I don't see any uh, solid here, but perhaps it is dissolved, but I'll just write out the reaction. Uh, so I give you the, the description, we have two liquids, clear, when they come together, I still see the clear liquid. Experiment number eight, iron three chloride reacting with potassium cyanate. Potassium thiocyanate. So here we have here our iron three chloride. So I'm gonna add two mils. going to add some potassium thiocyanate. It says here to add two mils. And you see right away the color change. It turns to a darkish blood color. So we'll just pause for a moment.